Ghana Armed Forces is the unified armed force of Ghana, consisting of the Army, Navy, and Air Force military branches of the GAF. The GAF are supervised by the Ghanaian Ministry of Defense. Ghana Armed Forces Supreme Commander-in-Chief is the President of the Republic of Ghana, who is also the Supreme Military Commander of the President's Own Guard Regiment and of the Border Guard Unit. The supervision of the Ghana Armed Forces is managed by the Minister of Defense and the Chief of Defense Staff. The military of Ghana is considered as one of the best equipped and high-trained militaries in Africa. The Chronicles of GAF equals GAF Internal Operations equals The Ghana Armed Forces were formed in 1957. Major General Stephen Ota was appointed GAF Chief of Defense Staff in September 1961. From 1966, the GAF was extensively involved in politics, mounting several coups. Kwame Nkrumah had become Ghana's first prime minister when the country became independent in 1957. As Nkrumah's rule wore on, he began to take actions which disquieted the leadership of the armed forces, including the creation and expansion of the president's own guard regiment. As a result, on February 24, 1966, a small number of military personnel from GA and senior police officials, led by Colonel Emmanuel Kotoka Major Akorsi of Fife for Lieutenant General Joseph Ankra, and J.W.K. Harley successfully launched the Operation Cold Chop, a coup d'a copyright tat against the Nkrumah regime. The group formed the National Liberation Council, which ruled Ghana from 1966 to 1969. The GAF second coup took place in 1972 after the reinstated civilian government had cut military privileges and started changing the leadership of the army's combat units. Lieutenant Colonel Ignatius Q. Tua Chimpong led a bloodless coup that ended the Second Republic in January 1972. Thus the National Redemption Council was formed. A Chimpong became head of state, and the NRC ruled from 1972 to 1975. On October 9, 1975, the NRC was replaced by the Supreme Military Council. Council members were Colonel Achimpong Lieutenant General Frederick Akafo and the Army, Navy, Air Force and Border Guard Unit Commanders. In July 1978, in a sudden move, the other SMC officers forced Achimpong to resign, replacing him with Lieutenant General Akafo. The SMC apparently acted in response to continuing pressure to find a solution to the country's economic dilemma. Inflation was estimated to be as high as 300% that year. The council was also motivated by a Chimpong's failure to dampen rising political pressure for changes. Akafo, the new SMC chairman, promised publicly to hand over political power to a new government to be elected by July 1, 1979. The decree lifting the ban on party politics went into effect on January 1, 1979, as planned. However in June, just before the scheduled resumption of civilian rule, a group of young armed forces officers, led by Flight Lieutenant Jerry Rawlings, mounted yet another coup. They put in place the Armed Forces Revolutionary Council, which governed until September 1979. However, in 1981, Rawlings deposed the new civilian government again, this time establishing the Provisional National Defense Council. The PNDC remained in government until January 7, 1993. In the last years of the PNDC, Jerry Rawlings assumed civilian status. He was elected as a civilian president in 1993 and continued as president until 2001. Equals GAF external operations equals. Since the GAF first external operation in the military operation Congo in the early 1960s, then the GAF training of Rhodesian guerrillas, followed by the GAF have taken up their positions on the thin blue line between war and peace, amidst genocide and civil war in the successive decades. GAF external operations within Europe has been significantly to the Balkans including the Kosovo War with the GAF external operations within Africa including the Rwandan genocide which in his book Shake Hands with the Devil, Canadian Forces Commander Romeo Delag gave the GA soldiers high praise for their work during the civil and conflict, and Liberia Civil War paving way for the Accra Comprehensive Peace Agreement among others. 
GAF external operations within Asia have included Iran and Iraq in the Iran Euro Iraq War, Kuwait and Lebanon Civil War, among others. GAF external operation and military operation presence was proudly advertised in the operations of Cambodia UNTAC. A total of 3,359 GA soldiers and 283 GMP military police personnel from GAF operated in UNTAC laying to rest the chronic military confusion in Cambodia. The UNTAC operation lasted two years, 1992 and 1993. After a long-running Cambodia civil war ignited by external interventions, a resolution was accepted by the four warring fractional parties. Operation UNTAC was the GAF largest external operation since the GAF first external operation in military operation Nowhere New Sea. Operation UNTAC and its contingent Anamic had a combined budget of more than $1.6 billion. Ghana Armed Forces soldiers and military police personnel from GA effectively contributed to bringing political and military to Cambodia. GAF Army The Ghana Army is structured as follows the Northern Command with headquarters in Kumasi and the Southern Command with headquarters in Accra. In March 2000 these two commands were formed after a restructuring. Previously there were three brigades, 1st Infantry Brigade, 2nd Infantry Brigade and Support Services Brigade, 6 Infantry Battalions of the Ghana Regiment, 3rd Battalion of Infantry, 4th Battalion of Infantry and 6th Battalion of Infantry in the Northern Command. 1st Battalion of Infantry, 2nd Battalion of Infantry and 5th Battalion of Infantry in the Southern Command, 2 airborne companies attached to Northern Command. Airborne Force, 1 Battalion in charge of state security. 64 Infantry Regiment, 1 Training Battalion, 1 Staff College, 2 Armored Reconnaissance Squadrons of the Reconnaissance Armored Regiment, 1 Signals Regiment, 2 Engineer Regiments, 1 Artillery Regiment, one logistics group. The Ghanaian Armed Forces relies on a mix of modern military technology. Modern M16S, AK 47s, Type 56 assault rifles, ADS amphibious rifles, and armor equipment are standard issue. Much of the secondary equipment, weaponry, and military technology used by the GAF divisions and GA Army Group are manufactured externally by the DIHOC and externally by the GAF Foreign Internal Defense Alliances AFRF of Russia, AFIRI of Iran, KPA of North Korea, and PLA of China. Equals GAF peacekeeping operations equals. GAF is free to commit a large proportion of its armed forces to international peacekeeping operations. Such operations are mainly conducted in Africa, while large Ghanaian armed forces are frequently posted across the world as elements of United Nations peacekeeping forces. The United Nations has often relied on Ghanaian armed forces to conduct peacekeeping operations, in countries as diverse as Afghanistan, Iraq, Kosovo, Georgia, Nepal, Cambodia and Lebanon. Currently, Ghanaian Armed Forces are posted to United Nations peacekeeping missions as follows, MONUC-464, UNMIL-852, UNAMSAL-782, UNIFIL-651. Ghana Armed Forces provided the first force commander of the Economic Community of West African States Monitoring Group, Lt. Gen. Arnold Kweyanu. Kweyanu led the force from July 1990 to September 1990. As of the decade 2010s in the 21st century the Ghana Armed Forces peacekeepers have many forces, as military patrols, provosts, electoral observers, dem miners, ceasefire monitors humanitarian aid workers, and even special forces or frogmen against rebel armies. GAF Air Force The Ghana Air Force is headquartered in Burma Camp Accra, and operates from bases in Accra, to Mali, 2nd Takaradi, and Kumasi. The GHF military doctrine and stated mission is to perform counterinsurgency operations within Ghana or externally and to provide logistical support to the GA. GAF Navy The Ghana Navy military doctrine and stated mission is to provide defense of Ghana and its territorial waters, fishery protection, exclusive economic zone, and internal security on Lake Volta. It is also tasked with resupplying GA peacekeepers in Africa. 
fighting maritime criminal activities such as piracy, disaster and humanitarian relief operations, and evacuation of Ghanaian citizens and other nationals from troubled spots. In 1994 the GN was reorganized into an Eastern Command, with headquarters at Tema, and a Western Command, with headquarters at 2nd E. Takeradi. GAF Business equals GAF Military Private Bank equals The GAF, in addition to owning its own arms industry weapons and military technology and equipment manufacturer, operates its own private bank supervised by the CWO and CSM of the GAF Dixon Owusu. The GAF Military Private Bank is sited at Burma Camp and serves the GAF military personals and their GAF civilian counterparts. Equals GAF Military Hospitals equals GAF Main Military Hospital and Specialist Hospital is 37 Military Hospital which has recently undergone expansion and its facilities include a 24-hour emergency department. The GAF Main Military Hospital is also accredited for postgraduate medical education teaching. The GAF Main Military Hospital has been organized into working units or subunits, which has created a good standard of structure within the facility. The divisions and departments are developed and joined according to medical, paramedical and administrative lines and each of these units has its own departmental head. The GAF Military Hospital is staffed by GAF military personnel and also houses a medical education training facility. Vyacheslav Lebedev, chairman of the Supreme Court of Russia showed gratitude to the GAF following Vyacheslav Lebedev emergency treatment at the GAF 37 Military Hospital. GAF Military Schools The GAF operates the GAF Cadet Corps for GAF cadets whom go on to military education and training and recruit training graduation from the GAF Military Academy for Army Recruit and Seaman Recruit prior to enlistment into the military branches of the GAF, Ghana Military Academy, National Cadet Corps, Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center. Defense Budget Miscellaneous Paramilitary forces deal with preventing and controlling civil disturbances and insurrection. Ghanaian statutory law officially prohibits civilians and foreign nationals from wearing military apparel such as camouflage clothing, or clothing which resembles military dress. Officially, fines and or short prison sentences can be passed against civilians seen in military dress in public. In addition, Ghanaian law prohibits the photographing of Ghana Armed Forces Ghana Military Police Police or GAF military personnel and vehicles while on duty, strategic sites such as Kotoka International Airport when in use, and the seat of the Ghanaian government, Osu Castle. Equals GAF alliances equals, in 2013, GAF agreed closer military cooperation with China PLA, and in 2013, GAF agreed closer military cooperation with Iran AFIRI and GAF agreed to closer military cooperation with Russia AFRF in 2012. References Further reading, General History of the Ghana Armed Forces A Euro A Reference Volume, Stephen Addy, Ministry of Defense of Ghana Armed Forces, Accra, 2005, ISBN 9988-8335-0-4. Nearly 700 pages but quite readable. Very poor bibliography. External links, Ghana Armed Forces, Ghana Armed Forces Official Website, How to Join the Ghana Armed Forces, 1.